as important as it is to have a good relationship with everyone around you, that relationship with yourself matters too. If you don't love yourself, yeah. you don't really know what you deserve and, mm. you know, and how you should be treated. So, mm. And that's on period. <laughs> period. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, it's your girl Jan and this is episode 2 of Journey with Jan where I'm bringing you my inspirational friends, yes, who are going to be coming to share knowledge with you about like different things because I want to see you guys growing, I want to see you guys winning and that is what this series is all about yes. basically. And as you can see, I have a very special guest with me. And she's actually here from <laughs> abroad. She's traveled all the way from Germany, guys. Yeah. To London. Do you know I that's Germany? Here, guys, <laughs> during here. the pandemic. During the pandemic. So of course, healthy She's still and here. <laughs> and she is here to say hey to you guys. As I told you, I'm going to be bringing you my inspiring friends to be able to share knowledge with you guys. And today we're going to be talking about self-love with the amazing queen of the empire of love. Thank if you have not listened to her song yet, go check it out. Link is in the description. Okay. Melissa Mulungi. Thank you, guys. This introduction, <laughs> I'm just here all smiling, smiling. Because you guys heard it. I'm just... <laughs> But yeah, I'm so honored to be on here and I love this Aww. new series that you're bringing to us, guys. Thank you very much. I love Jan's content in general, but yeah, I'm very excited for all of this and I hope that everyone can get something from this yes, series. Fingers crossed. I really hope this video helps you guys. And make sure you do check out Melissa's YouTube channel. She is also a fellow YouTuber who has amazing content. She's also a Ugandan, like myself and like many of you who watch as well and we are also filming today another video that's going to be on her channel too so make sure you check that out for more of what we have to share with you guys together okay so today's episode is going to be about self-love as you can tell from the title so yeah we're going to be delving a bit into that and our own experiences with it the first question i'm going to ask to melissa is what do you think the importance of self-love is today in this 2020 world that we're living in um i think especially now there's so much that we deal with in general in this mm. world and i feel like the first thing is just to work on yourself your inner strength your confidence so that you can really go out there into the world mm. and you know be that person because there's so much that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day mm. that i feel like your confidence and your inner strength and just knowing your ability and all these things is just so important i really do agree with that uh, if i'm going to add on to that i'll probably say i think self-love is really important because you as a person are the person that you spend the most time with do you get it True. like so it's important to have a good relationship with yourself as important as it is to have a good relationship with everyone around you that relationship with yourself matters too i agree and i was also watching a ted talk um actually today is when i was watching it and this lady she was like every day we have about seventy thousand thoughts as a human in our brain and about 80 percent of those thoughts are negative thoughts either towards ourselves or to people around us That's crazy i know so i feel like this whole thing of like negative thoughts whether it's about yourself or your life it's something we all go through so it's important to be aware of that be aware of your thoughts be aware of your emotions as well and now consciously start to counteract it to yeah. get it like i feel like that's a really important part of self-love like having self-compassion and trying to counteract these inevitable negative thoughts that are going to pop into your head kind of thing i also think that when you have that it's like you also know what you allow how you allow people to treat you come on girl you're pushing good because it's like if you don't love yourself yeah. you don't really know what you deserve and mm. you know and how you should be treated so mm. initially if you go out there and you know you have all these negative thoughts about yourself already as you said you know the TED talk that you watched mm. um, then you know it's easy for other people then to come in to add on to that and then you just and find you yourself just in this them. exactly for you to let Dark someone space. talk to you anyhow yeah yeah I feel like that's something that I've grown in as well the more I have learned um, 
how to love myself and the ways in which I can accept myself to think mm. about myself and speak to myself. Yes, yes. It sets a standard for what I let other people say to me 100%. and how I let other people treat me and speak to yes. me as well, which I think is really important. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting really deep here. <laughs> um, um, this is not livening it up, but you know, let's. Let's bring. Wait. You're right, love. Something flew oh my out. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? Whoa! Oh and it's so big god. as well. <laughs> Lord of mercy! Wow. So sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. You okay? Yeah? <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um, as you can see, it's quite a deep topic, and there's so many dimensions to self-love. I feel like there's so many angles you can come at it from. Yeah. And. As a person, let me ask you, do you feel like you have achieved self-love? Ooh, that's a deep question. Yeah. Um, that is a deep question. I think, I think I'm at a space where I'm good. I'm aware that self, uh, self-love is very important. Mm. I know that it is something that I need to work on daily. You yeah. know, it's something that is now Same. conscious in my mind. Yeah. I know that, you know, every day i need to make an effort to make sure that i love myself Mm. you know um what kind of things do you do um i usually wake up and i look in the mirror you know and Mm. i speak positive things um to myself um i reflect a lot Mm. a lot whether it is um me interacting with other people you know the things that come out of my mouth to other people or how people speak to me Mm. and you know what i allow or Mm. you know who i am around um and just you know the thoughts that you have day to day you know um when negative things happen how i deal with that so yeah a lot of self-reflection i would say most definitely um uh, goes into that yeah as well so you haven't achieved it would you say well you um, have i wouldn't say a hundred percent but i'm yeah. in a good space yeah you're where happy. yeah where i'm happy i can say that i love myself mm-hmm. um of course everyone has their insecurities here and there course, you know and things that they yeah. think about then and there but i'm now very aware like i know when i get into that space and i know how to now deal with it when it happens mm. but um yeah i would say I would say I am I am in a good space. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Um, let me ask myself a question too. <laughs> Jan, do you feel... <laughs> do you feel like you have achieved full self-love? Mm. Um, you know what, yeah. I think it's a debatable thing to say because, like, what does full self-love look like? Do True. you know what I mean? It's very subjective. And, like what does it mean to have enough love can you ever have enough love because i feel like if we look at okay the model of love well personally for me which is god's love yes his love is so abundant it's overflowing for example like you can't even fathom to understand the depths of it you can't measure it you don't question it it. Mm. it's not it's everlasting yeah so for me to be able to say have i achieved full self what what is full self-love i don't think there's ever such a thing it's just the thing about like continuing to pour and pour and pour and pour and as i said it's a relationship with yourself that you're trying to develop yeah so i think as you said as well it's about putting in effort every day which is what i feel like i do do you know what i mean i try but you have in order to get to that stage where you're trying you have to start being really aware um of as I said in the beginning like your thoughts and emotions stopping your negative thoughts when they come in and being like kind to yourself that's something that I've started doing I would say in the last few months or so and I feel like it has really improved um sort of like my relationship with myself was like I'm just kind to myself do you know what I mean like when you make mistakes that don't beat yourself up about it like speak to yourself nice treat yourself nicely because you are special like as you said not being so hard on yourself Mm -hmm. you know being kind to yourself um yeah I think it's it's very important yeah it's important to acknowledge that all the time and you know I, I call myself like nice names okay <laughs> you guys might find this weird but let's say like i do something wrong or something i'll be like no I, like I, I call myself baby so i'll be like Aww. no baby don't do that like Aww. i don't know like i'm just you just have i feel like it's important to be nice to yeah. yourself like and i feel like there's so many people out there that are not nice to themselves you know be like oh i'm so stupid for mm. doing this i'm so this i'm so mm. that but the more negative things you put out there about yourself the more you, your brain starts to believe it. you start yes. to believe start to believe you actually are stupid you start yes. to believe you actually aren't good enough to do things but 
No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <And> no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> yeah, so that's um, something which I feel like I'm happy with in terms of where I am and the direction I'm going in. Yeah. Just how compassionate I am with myself, Beautiful. especially um, when maybe I am making mistakes. mistakes. But I'm going to add that as well. Yeah. I'm going to add that and be like, because I'm, I call myself names. I'll yeah. be like, you know, Melissa the Queen and all of that. Yeah. But not necessarily um when you speak when, to yourself yes when it's negative situations that yeah. happen or things like that yeah um i don't do that but i'm i'm gonna girl girl I'm getting advice here Guys, too do it do it <laughs> i hope y'all got your notebooks out <laughs> the last thing i do kind of want to say about this as well is that um it's not every day is going to be roses in like any relationship even with like your relationship with god even your relationship with your friends with your parents yeah. with your significant other it's going to be the same in this kind of relationship where it's like there will be bad days do you get it there will be days where today is actually worse than yesterday but it's about you know reflecting on the situation why am i feeling like this today why am i allowing these negative thoughts to um take over do you know what i mean like, yeah i love how you're comparing the relationship with yourself with, with other, other relationships yeah. because like you said you know you have your relationship with god you have your relationship with your parents these are all different relationships mm. but we all have experienced them and we all know that it's not always great so that's how we should actually look at the relationship that with we ourselves. have with ourselves exactly. because you know that's important guys we are getting into the depths of self-love <laughs> here stay tuned <laughs> so it's just about like making tomorrow better than yesterday um just allowing yourself to have those bad days and allowing yourself to pick yourself back up again don't be hard on yourself kind yes. of thing i like that i like that um all right another question what do you feel like how can someone know that they don't have self-love like what are the signs or what are um yeah how can someone know that they don't have self-love if they don't have enough yeah if they don't have enough self-love um okay that is such a deep question honestly and i feel like there might be somebody like watching this video who maybe has never thought of self-love as a concept and probably just doesn't you know doesn't consciously have it for themselves yeah. and i think the way in which you can know that you don't have self-love or enough self-love is um kind of what the point i just touched on like you're not compassionate with yourself like you just i don't know like you're really hard on yourself mm. and i feel like i feel like that's one of the one of the biggest challenges when it comes to self-love like not being hard on yourself yeah um actually allowing yourself um to make mistakes and um treating yourself like you're special doing things like purpose purposefully doing things that will make you happy because i, w- I don't want to say like just because but to make yourself feel good do you know what i mean yeah i think as well like especially if well i'm a christian so like um, you're gonna hear me talk about god a lot but if, Same. <laughs> if especially as a christian if you cannot see yourself the way that god sees you like you're literally the apple of his eye like he cherishes you so much so I feel like if you cannot see yourself like that if you don't see yourself as special if you don't see yourself as somebody who is like precious and you don't treat yourself like that then you don't I don't want to say you don't have enough self-love because we did say what's enough love yeah but there is self-love that you're lacking yeah do you know what I mean there's there's a part in your life that you should be working on yes um definitely yeah i think that too i feel like also um maybe if you feel like um you care too much about other people's opinions Mm. and you know um seeking other people's validation um and yeah just as you said as well like speaking negative to yourself if you notice those things i think those are like signs i would say where you could be like okay maybe i don't have you know enough self-love self-love self-compassion yeah yeah Okay, so I feel like we've said a lot, you know. Yeah. We've actually said a lot. We've been talking for a hot minute still. It's important. So, <laughs> self-love yeah. is important. Please comment down below, like, any of your journeys of self-love. Have oh, you yes. ever thought of self-love as a concept? 
Is it something you practice daily, self-care, self-love? Is it something that you're picking up from this video that any tips that you're going to carry forward? Let us know if there's anything you've taken from anything we've said. We'd love to hear your feedback. I'll be creeping in the comments as well. <laughs> She'll be there. She'll be there to reply your comments. Definitely. Anything you want to say to Melissa, just anything, just put it down in the comments. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we are just going to finish this video off with a few tips for you guys. Some things that we think that you guys should take away. Um, and words of advice that we can give you in terms of self-love. So take it away, Melissa. What do you got to say to the people? Yes. As a tip, I would personally say girl or boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just wake up and consciously just be positive. You know, start your day on a positive foot. And just look yourself in the mirror and just positive affirmation to yourself you know mm. i am beautiful mm. i am great you know i am a winner i'm a conqueror this is going to be a beautiful great day Amen. um yeah i think that is very important one thing quickly um sometimes when i wake up like in a bad mood what i personally do i go back to sleep for like 30 minutes <laughs> this is if you have enough time obviously <laughs> um and then i wake up again and consciously be like all right this is a new day, you know, it's a great day. I'm going to be productive today. And um, yeah, I start my day like that. So mm. I just think wow. um, positive affirmation is very, very important. And um, yeah, it's a great way to work towards your self-love, your journey of self-love. Amazing, yeah. amazing. What would you say? Thank you, girl. I just want to put a disclaimer, you know, we're not professionals. We're just giving True. you <laughs> advice. Our personal, yeah. yeah. Advice based on our experience and our opinions as well. Yeah, so what I would say is look after yourself, you know, and that can be in the smallest of things. I know it sounds simple, look after yourself. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we all look after ourselves. No, but no, but do you really, do you take time to do like just little things that will make you happy? Like let's say taking 10 minutes out of your day to like paint your nails. Um, or go on a walk yeah have a long bath like bubble bath to um listen to music listen oh my candles. gosh that is such a feel good <laughs> thing yeah put some scented candles in your room listen to like a good set of music that yeah. you really enjoy just let yourself free enjoy yourself um and then maybe also buy yourself something you know buy yourself something nice could be something small could be like i don't know like a little chocolate bar or could be a new pair of shoes like it doesn't have to be like anything extravagant like just you know small things just yeah. try to do small things here and there and then i think uh, the last thing i'll say as well it's really important to surround yourself with positive people Oof. i cannot stress that one Oof. enough <laughs> guys this is an important point i yeah. want you to yeah really put that out there because yeah. like if if you're surrounded like with negative people even if it's just like one or two friends i think it's important to just distance yourself from them because they can really like drain you of your happiness um and joy as opposed to adding to it and life is about choices you get yes. like especially if you're an adult nobody is gonna choose for you what to do in Preach. any situation so i think just choose people that make you feel good to spend your time with choose things choose activities choose just every choice in life just make sure <laughs> it's making you feel good make yes. sure it's making you happy yes. and that's on period period <laughs> times two <laughs> yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you really have enjoyed this video and we do hope there's things you've taken away from it um put everything down in the comment section yes and down below i personally want to ask you guys please subscribe to jan's channel please Aww. do subscribe Aww. as i said before she has amazing content guys and she has more and more coming and i feel like we should you know support this i just love anything you know that puts positivity out there and anything that's self-development and all these great things so yes subscribe to subscribe her to channel you. make Such sure you sweetheart. you're the sweetheart Guys, make sure you do subscribe to her <laughs> channel as well. As you can see, Moela Mulunji, Melissa Mulunji, and she has a good heart as well. And she does also does have amazing content on her channel. Oh my gosh, girl, shout out your charity. Guys, she is the whole CEO of a charity. Hello. Check her out. Check her but out. But yes, please guys, do check out Chic, which is Children Health, Empowerment and Care. But yeah, we'll have all the links yes. down below. And it's based um, in Uganda. Yes. For those of you who would like to donate and lend a helping hand, to our people back home. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.
Olha lá, você tá aqui. Seria uma pequena. É uma.